live from Aunt Betty's studio in Carson City, Nevada. From First Presbyterian Church, where we are opening the gospel to Carson City and beyond, it's the Mary and Sherry Show. <sighs> good morning, Mary. Good, good morning, Sherry. Good, good morning, good morning world. Yes. Good morning, world out there. Yes. Well, those of you who tuned in last week, just don't be looking for that level this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are no skits this week, but we no. would really want to do a shout out to mm -hmm. all of the wonderful, wonderful women that came in and helped us do that skit. We had so much fun with them. We want to thank Betty Boardman and Arlene Carter and Sandy Hatchell and Susan Secoy and of course my mom, <laughs> the enforcer, Donna Hathaway. Yep. And, and all of our tech people. And all of our tech people. Yeah. We want to thank Dale and Bob for literally <laughs> putting up with a swarm of, of gals and running around with their cameras and standing on toilets to get shots and it, it was really fun. It so, was. Thank you, ladies, for coming Thanks in. Thanks to and all gentlemen. of you. Yes, thank you to all of you. You really made it. That was fantastic so very fun and thanks to everybody who's given us good feedback on that we hear that a lot of people actually had to stop and laugh yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> so right on all well, right what else going well, on well you know last week was such a big week not not just because it was the one-year anniversary of the mary and sherry show um it 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 I sort of pales in comparison to the importance of last week True. Which was Holy Week. It just um, happened to coincide. It did. It did. And, you know, um, it, what a wonderful week it was. We had so much going on, and I think that's a reflection of us kind of coming out post-pandemic and, and getting back and involved again. We had the um, four days of the Passion readings from the Gospels. Which were fantastic. And we had the Monday, Thursday service, which, which was... Fantastic. Fantastic and amazing. We had about 70 people at that. Um, the Road to the Cross on Friday, which took a week's worth of preparation and hours to take down. Which was fantastic. It was. And there were 200 people at that. Awesome. And then, of course, the Easter um, Easter service, and there were over 200 people here for that. And, it, you know, it was such a blessing to so many people who were able to come and take part in all that. But I think also the really big thing that um, um, we're taking away from it is the number of people that were involved in putting those things on and producing those things and the blessing it was for all of them. Yeah. It's truly a blessing to be able to come and participate. And you're getting that, you're understanding that, and you're making things happen. So thank you to all of you who helped produce all of those things. Really. And uh, for really. those of you who are able to see it online from far away or for whatever reason, uh, we hope that you were blessed by what you're able to see. Yeah, and I think a, you know, a shout out to the, the praise team and the choir. I, I can say for myself, it was so fun working on all of that. And it just, it came off well. I think we all tuned our instruments. <laughs> and, it, and the choir is, sounded fantastic. <laughs> so. the, the music Sunday was amazing. It was so amazing. If you have any comments about um, all the worship from last week, please, please comment and let us yeah. give us your thoughts. Yeah, comments, suggestions, etc., etc. <laughs> Anyways, onward, speaking of music, yes, we would like to welcome Stuart Peebles as the new music Yay. director. Hi, Round of applause. <laughs> we are so thrilled to have you, Stuart. We are so excited. I can't even put it into words, actually. So we're telling everyone that the first choir practice is tomorrow, correct? Yes. Thursday yes. night and late at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. So everyone, come on down. If you don't think you can sing, this man can help you. So I agree. And can I tell a little tale? Yes, tell the tale. So yesterday, tale, Cecilia Stansbury was our desk front desk person at the office, 
and Stuart came in to do some things and she said, listen, my husband and I are big choir members. We love singing, but we do travel. Mm -hmm. And True. so I'm not gonna, we're not gonna make it to the first, um, the first rehearsal. Right. He said, not a problem. Came over, did some stuff, came back, handed her a bunch of music and said, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I said, you and Bob are going to get along great because he's all about the homework. So <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. That is. Well, I'm, I'm very excited. And welcome again, Stuart mm -hmm. and Mary. We're so happy that you're here. And I have to say that I have received messages from people out in the community that are excited that you're here. Oh, that's great. So they're like, you can't find a better person. You're not going to find a better person. Yay. So. Woohoo! Looking forward to getting to know him. Um, speaking of people, let's move on to another one, McAvoy Lane. Oh, yeah. Up on our YouTube channel now is an interview with McAvoy Lane. So be sure to catch that because Mary's going to give you more information on what's happening with that. Yes, and before I do that, I just want to throw in here, I've watched that interview that Sherry did with McAvoy, and it's really good. Not that I doubted she could pull off an interview, but it's really good. He was so easy to interview. It was just delightful. And well, it so, was very interesting. Yeah. So I can't wait to see him on Wednesday. May 4th is the day. And remember, this is a fundraiser for the Old Sanctuary, oldest church in the state, which Mark Twain helped put the roof on. And McAvoy, of course, I remember that quote where he wanted the roof to come down onto the congregation. But, you know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> kill y'all. Oh. So the tickets are $25. Make them out to uh, just put, you know, First Presbyterian and Old Sanctuary Fund on the memo line. You can get them at the office or you can get them in the Narthex after church. So $25, buy them up sell us out, raise some money for a good cause for a historic building. And the doors open at six. And the Gold Rush gals, myself and my dear friend Lynn Zong, will be playing, I don't know, 625. We'll be playing, you know, when everybody comes in and sits down. So, and then McAvoy will come on and... Um, well, actually, Mark Twain will come on. You won't see McAvoy probably that night because he never breaks character. Oh, excellent. So, good. Good. That's May 4th. Two weeks? Is that two weeks? It's coming up way quick. <laughs> yes, very quick. So be, be sure to get your tickets. You're going to enjoy that. April? I know. The whole <laughs> year. Um, all right. Well, we have some other events that are coming up. May 21st is the second bicycle poker run. Whee! And I'm working on that today, so you're going to be hearing a lot more information about that in the upcoming weeks. Uh, a lot of people have already expressed interest in that, and this year we're asking you to decorate your bicycles as we go out and about. Mm. And if you don't have anything to decorate your bicycles with, I've got plenty of arts and crafts supplies up here, so I'm going to take them down. If you come a little early, you can decorate your bike here and you don't have to worry about buying anything. Super cool. What so, about costumes? Hey, <laughs> you know what? If you want to, I say go for it. Let's be festive and have fun. Just have fun with it. June 17th, the Aces game. Bob Stansbury is taking care of that. All right. <clears throat> now, here's the next thing, and I'm asking you um, if you have interest in this, especially my arts people. Arts people and kids people. Maybe you're an arts and kids person. That's a double bonus right there. But if you're an arts person or a kids person, I wanna know if you have interest in doing this. We're looking at doing an arts week with kids. Not VBS, we're not doing a program, okay? But one of the last weeks in August before school goes back, in the evening, two or three hours maybe. I did, all these are just kind of up in the air, what we're gonna do. Is there interest? Would you be involved? If you think, yes, I would like to be involved in that, please come see me so I can get a list of people, people I can count on to say, we're gonna see this through and make it happen. It'd be a great community outreach, great way to reach some kids and some families through them. Yeah, And we have fun. so many arts people here. It could be, you know, Arts like doing arts. It can be music. It can be theater. Arts. The arts. 
the arts. So let me know, please, if that is something that interests you and you've got a heart for that, please pray about it and let me know. Let her know. That sounds super cool, super fun. It makes me think of that art project with spray paint cans. It would be fun to do. Oh, now you've intrigued me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to let me know what that is. <laughs> okay, what else is going on? Ah, uh, yes. Saturday, May 7th is the annual spring cleanup day up at Zephyr Point at the lake. So it goes from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. And of course, lunch is always provided up at Zephyr Point. They always are so gracious and need help cleaning that place up for the summer. Sign up today with Bob or Grace Biker, by golly. All right. Saturday, May 7th. <laughs> A week after uh, the Zephyr Point cleanup day, May 14th, good, good. is Grace Works. Ah, so wow, the yay. 7th, Zephyr Point, the 14th, Grace Works, the 21st, the Bicycle Poker Run. You got three weekends in a row, boom, 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 all sorts of opportunities in there. Say May. that again. The 7th is? 7th is Zephyr Point cleanup. The 14th is? Grace Works. And the 21st is? Bicycle Poker Run. But right now, I just want to tell you a little bit about Graceworks, and I'm going to put right up here, you're going to see a lovely little insert that you're going to find in your bulletin on Sunday. This is what you'll see with all the information. Just going to give you a taste of it right now. There are four projects. <clears throat> Project one, planting flowers at Eagle Valley Children's Home. Cool. Project two, refurbish a fence at Fish and their Stewart School facility. Excellent. Project three, stain paint the project two fence and or other outside surfaces plus other miscellaneous repairs. Project four, mac and cheese food packaging for fish. Mm. Plenty of projects to volunteer for. And again, that information will be right up here for you to see. And you'll see it in your bulletin on Sunday. This is, is YouTube. YouTube. So, so we invite you to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And of course, share. <laughs> Have a great day. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you Sunday. Bye. And I'm Lin Zong. And we're the Gold Rush Gals. Woo! Yahoo! And we'd like to do a song that I wrote for my husband, Bill, who's home recuperating from back surgery. So, here we go. Oh, it's called Sweet Embrace.
Like to see more of this? Come on down, May fourth. Anyways, <laughs> blooper break. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're. <laughs> I was trying to get you back on track. It's like that's what we're supposed to say, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, all of us who took part in last week were a little bit brain dead this week, so. <laughs> Do you take a cough? Yeah. Cough break. <laughs> do I say speaking of a lot? I think I do. Speak I need to come up with something else. <laughs> when you look down, because you want to look up, but you're trying to read, but you're not really reading. Right.